people what do you think of this this is looking just beautiful it's a 20 by 20 by 30 power cube very tiny such that the overall width of this tractor here is about 42 inches so this is a very tiny somewhat of an equivalent of a Toro Dingo if you look at <clears throat> let's do a little quick measurement here 43 inches yeah we want to get it down to about 42 or so that's the industry standard from the Toro Dingo um, yeah, get rid of that distance there but this is looking like a really nice and functional tractor we're gonna add the loader arms here uh, these are the placeholders but this is the same style that we did last year except the the form factor is much much lower meaning a practical machine uh, before it was very tall unworkable dangerous so here we're gonna still add the probably mount the cylinders right in front here here's the loader arm so we're gonna have a loader uh, plus a quick connect plate that's got a second cylinder and right now this is just 18 horsepower or 16 horsepower depending on what kind of engine you use but the engine we use is a simple Duromax 16 horsepower for $229 uh, pull start which is good starts up every time we've tested it, it works really well and that's the power cube version 17.08 that we're showing here you can add new motors to this by just adding one of these engines uh, you can add an engine pretty much readily with a hydraulic pump as shown here the idea being that this one hydraulic reservoir here can fuel or power multiple engine a pressure pump engine hydraulic pump combinations so just adding a simple engine without without having to add another tank or another cooler because we can actually if we oversize this cooler a little bit we can run both through the same cooler for cooling uh, here's the hydraulic motor you see the motor mounting plates have to be adjusted a little bit there um, but that's one of the motors on one of the sides we still need to add a tensioner here a track tensioner and we're probably going to do that by putting a another idler slinging it from underneath so we can actually punch up the track if the track is really loose kind of like dribbles down uh, just kind of hangs down we're gonna push it up with an idler that's gonna spin span through here it's gonna be a shaft going through the underside here or through this uh, beam here and we're gonna be able to rotate another idler into place so it kind of rotate up and lift the track up to tension it so that we can connect the track while it's loose uh, pretty readily. Uh, challenges here don't see much. I think this is this is pretty good. The challenge is going to be maybe how do you exactly mount the loader arm cylinders, but otherwise this is looking pretty good.